Professor Dave again, let's use the pluperfect. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. Even though we have learned a number of tenses for dealing with action in the past, we have one more. This tense is called trapassato prossimo. When we look at the word trapassato, if we take the prefix as being derived from trans, meaning beyond, and recall that passato means past, we can see how this is similar to the English name for this tense, the pluperfect, as plu comes from the Latin plus, which means more, and perfect implies that something is completed. So literally, the name of this tense means more past than the past. In English, we refer to this tense as past perfect. In any case, we must be comparing two actions, where one of them appears to be more past than another. Now let's learn how to use this tense. First, recall that passato prossimo is constructed with the auxiliary essere, or avere, plus a form of the past participle. The trapassato is another compound tense like this, and follows the same construction. We just need a form of the auxiliary to make the action more past than the previous one. This can be achieved by substituting the present form of to have, or to be, with the imperfect of the same. All the other rules that you already know about participles still apply. To quickly review, these rules tell us that the past participle will agree in gender and number with intransitive verbs using essere, as well as with reflexive or reciprocals. The past participle will not agree with verbs using avere, unless preceded by a direct object pronoun and there will never be an agreement with indirect object pronouns. Let's apply this to three verbs, going through the conjugation for each one. The first is scrivere, a transitive verb, taking avere. Io avevo scritto. Tu avevi scritto. Lui o lei aveva scritto. Noi avevamo scritto. Voi avevate scritto. Loro avevano scritto. The second verb is tornare, an intransitive verb, taking essere. Io ero tornato o tornata. Tu eri tornato o tornata. Lui era tornato, o lei era tornata. Noi eravamo tornati, o tornate. Voi eravate tornati, o tornate. Loro erano tornati, o tornate. Lastly, the third verb, divertirsi, is reflexive. All reflexive verbs take essere. Io mi ero divertito o divertita. Tu ti eri divertito o divertita. Lui si era divertito o lei si era divertita. Noi ci eravamo divertiti o divertite. Voi vi eravate divertiti o divertite. Loro si erano divertiti o divertite. Now let's create some situations where one could use the trapassato prossimo. In all of these situations, two actions in the past are described, but one of them had already happened before the other one took place. English can get away with using just one past tense for these situations, but Italian is much more precise. The action that had already happened first is the one that will require trapassato prossimo. Quando sono arrivato al cinema, il film era già cominciato. I arrived home early, but my little brother had already eaten my favorite ice cream. Sono arrivato a casa presto, ma il mio fratellino aveva già mangiato 
tutto il mio gelato preferito. When I arrived at the airport, my plane had already left. Quando sono arrivato all'aeroporto, il mio aereo era già partito. I didn't go to the opera with them because I had already seen it the week before. Non sono andato all'opera con loro perché l'avevo già vista la settimana prima. I didn't sleep well because I had drunk too much coffee. Non ho dormito bene perché avevo bevuto troppo caffè. And that's all we need to know about trapassato prossimo, so let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.